Hey guys, it's Zoe, and as you can see here and from the title, I'm going to be doing a bullet journal flip through video. And I have been bullet journaling since like February. I started this particular, like in this notebook, in June. This is a Leuchtturm 1917, and it's in purple. This is pretty much the one most people use for bullet journaling, maybe not this color, but this brand. And so I decided to wait and see how I felt about it before I purchased this one because it was like a $20 um, notebook and you can honestly do this with just a normal notebook that you have lying around, which was what I did for the majority of the year. But I have moved into this one and I'm really liking it. I really like having the dot grid. I just feel like it makes it a lot easier than just having lined pages. But literally that's what's so good about the bullet journal system is you can literally do anything and it's not wrong. So that is what I keep telling myself because a lot of people like make this really artsy and will try to make it very Tumblr-esque I guess. Um, if you've seen any of those things floating around Tumblr or Instagram or anywhere really, YouTube, um, they do some really cool stuff. And I try to do that sometimes, but more than anything else, I just want to keep this useful for me. So I'm going to be doing a few different videos about this journal in the coming months. But for today, I'm just going to give you a flip through and kind of an overview of my August, um, how I'm setting it up. So, let's just get in. I haven't put my name in yet. I know. This first page is just my table of contents. And um, I like to use different colours for the month. But that's really the only thing special about it. Um, here is my future log. And I'm sorry, I've had to cover some things up. It's just I don't feel comfortable sharing with the whole world how my life goes. So, yeah. But basically I just have the next six months because I started this in June and I kind of wish I would have gone farther than that but it's fine, it's okay. So I have two columns here, one is for birthdays and the other is just for events that I have in that month. Next I have a books to read page and I really like this the way it turned out. I think it's really cool and it's just a way for me to get inspiration to read. My goal for this year was 35 books, so I drew 35 books, but um, as you can see I'm not doing too great on that. <laughs> Thanks, cool. And then I also have a TV page. Then I have like just some stretches that I can do in case I feel the need to stretch. Like for ballet, I do ballet and it's always useful to have these all in one place and to be like, oh I want to stretch and you can just choose them off the list so I've got them like categorized. And I'm not really a big fan of how these first few pages went. I like the my books page, but that's really it. So I'm just kind of working out how I want this to go at this point and working into it. So next I have my wish list and some travel like places I want to go. I really want to change this page. I think I want to put like a map in it or something. Then I have Etsy ideas and YouTube ideas 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 and now this is where it gets interesting okay so this is the beginning of June um, I did a cover page I did it for July too but I don't think I'm going to do it for August just because I don't find it necessary and I tried to keep purple throughout June as you can see I have it up here on my table of contents and then I decided to just carry it through June so this was my first monthly spread I guess so I just did it um, vertically I just find that it's easier for me but I left two lines for each one so that I could have more room to write and I just used washi tape to block off the long periods of time when I'm doing things um, over the hair I did my habits I don't I didn't need like a whole page for my habits which a lot of people do because I only track like these three so I don't need that and then I also have money down here, which is something I don't really know if I want to keep doing. I know I should be using it, but I just don't. I just don't track my money, and it's really, really bad. So I'm going to keep doing it, but I'm not very good at using it. So this is my very first weekly spread. Over here is just my weekly overview. 
and I was trying to figure out how I'd do it because this isn't how I was doing it in my previous journal because I was using it for school so it like wasn't practical to use it in the summer but I just have like to do some future and this week and then I was using these pictures because I think they're pretty and they make it very aesthetic and it makes me happy but you don't have to by any means like this is just what I like to do and I like to play around my lettering as you can see this is pretty much the same as last week. I left room for some daily pages and then I didn't end up using them and I didn't really want to put another picture in so I just did this quote. Next we're getting into like the rest of the month. So June was kind of crazy because I was hardly at home. So I have a packing list for all of the places I was going because I was gone for um, like four weeks straight but in three different places. So I had to pack for all three before I left. So the next spread I did before I left for Vienna because I really wanted to know like all about where I was going to be because Vienna, unlike Paris or Rome, like you don't really know much of like the big tourist attractions unless you're actually going there I feel like. So I really just wanted to learn more about the places and about what I'd be seeing so that when I got there I wasn't like completely like absorbing just new information because I wouldn't be able to retain it all. So I just did this beforehand so that I kind of knew where I would be going at different times. Um, I went on exchange with um, school, so a girl who stayed with me a few months ago, I got to stay with her. And so I just did that. I wrote in my flights. Now we get to July. I did this page on the plane coming back from Vienna and I really don't like it. <laughs> I don't really know what I was doing, but you know, it's, it's fine. This was my July spread. It's actually only like halfway through July right now, but I'm going away next week. So I wanted to make sure I filmed this before I went away. So I don't really like how I did this, but again, it's okay. Like this is just for me. I mean, I know I'm showing it to you guys too, but like it's really just for me and it's a way to be creative if I feel the need to be creative or to just make this work so I can get through life. Either way works for me. So I just have that. I did goals and I did my habits this way because I wanted to have room for goals but I think I'm going to change it back to how I did it in June because I didn't really use the goals at all. This spread I did actually after I came back from New York. And, well actually no, I did it like halfway while I was in New York and halfway on the plane and like when I got back from Houston. So I just kind of used it for memory keeping. Did a little rise up because we saw Hamilton, which was amazing, oh my gosh. And then this picture is mine. Most of these pictures come from Tumblr or Google, but some of them are mine, like these ones are both mine and yeah. Um, Self promo, follow me on my Instagrams, see more of my pictures. And then this page was like my ideal day so I just wrote down what my ideal day in the summer looks like so I could get see what I needed to do like on a daily basis. And then I have this page which is just like the things I love because I had this extra page and I didn't really know what to do with it so I just filled it with different things I've been loving this month and I really like the way it turned out. This is my picture, that is not, but I really like it, it just makes me happy. And then this is the most recent spread so I've just got like July, the most recent spread, yeah, featuring Walmu from 17. So I'm going to skip this page, and I think I'm going to go ahead and just start August here.
I do to set up my month. Um, so this is what it looks like at the beginning of the month. It's a nice clean slate and I will start the weeklies on this page. But I think that's all I'm going to do for now. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed and you want me to do more of these, make sure to let me know in the comments and by liking this video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!